Hello and welcome back to my Q&A video series about the pandas library in Python. And the question for today is how do I use the axis parameter in pandas? All right, this is a bit of a technical topic. Uh, we've seen the axis parameter once before in this series in the context of dropping rows and columns. So we're going to start uh, with a recap of that. We're going to talk about the axis parameter, and then we're going to use it in another context. Okay, so uh, as always, we'll start by importing pandas, import pandas as pd, and then we're going to read in a data set, and this is going to be a data set of alcohol consumption by country. So pd.read csv and then pass it the URL bit.ly slash drinks by country. Okay, so we'll run that and then take a look at the first five rows. And what we see is that each row represents a country and uh, their reported alcohol consumption per adult. Okay, so uh, let's say we want to remove a column. Let's say we don't care about the continent column. We would, what we would do is use the uh, drop method. It's a data frame method. So drinks.drop, and then we pass it as a string, the name of the column we want to drop. And then we say axis equals one, okay? And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on the head method so that we're only looking at the first five rows of the resulting data frame. Now, what you can see is that the continent column was indeed dropped, okay? And uh, I had to specify axis equals one to say I want to drop a column, okay? Now, uh, this did not, I did not use the in place parameter, um, so this did not actually remove the column. This is just a temporary thing, okay? So let's say instead I wanted to drop a row. So I wanted to drop row two, for example. This is the index. And uh, I'll, so instead I say drop two, and I change it to axis equals zero. And this time, you can see the continent uh, column is back, but this time row two is now gone, okay? So uh, what exactly is going on here? So uh, pandas could have created a drop columns method that was specific to drop dropping columns, and it could have created a separate drop rows method for dropping rows. But instead, the pandas philosophy is to make a single method called drop, and then we use the axis parameter to specify which, what we want to drop. Do I want to drop a row or a column? So axis one is the column axis. Axis zero is the row axis, okay? So uh, anytime you run across a pandas command uh, and you think it could refer to rows or columns, that's how you'll specify which you want to refer to, okay? Now, let's try using axis in a different parameter. Um, so what we're going to do is a mathematical operation, a, a mean. And let's just say I say drinks.mean. What's going to happen? So I'll run that. And what we're seeing is that pandas has told us the mean of each of the numeric columns. This is the mean value of the beer servings series, of the spirit serving series, wine servings, and total liters of pure alcohol. Okay? So why did it give us the mean values for each series? Um, great question. So. Basically, this is doing column means, and that's because the default behavior of mean is axis equals zero. So I'm just making it explicit. This will have the same result. I'm just making it explicit that when I said drinks.mean, it was assuming the zero axis. 
And in other words, axis zero for an operation is saying, I want you to move down. I want you to move across the row axis. This is the row axis. And the direction I want the operation to occur is down. So the way I like to imagine it is that these four columns, the numeric columns, are kind of being collapsed down into a single set of four numbers that represents the mean of each column. Okay, So if instead you wanted the mean of each row, you could say axis equals 1. And now you can picture that operation moving, the mean operation moving along the column axis, the one axis. It's moving this way. And that way, what it's doing is it's averaging. It's taking the mean of these zeros, which is 0. It's taking the mean of these, which is 69, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, this is not a uh, meaningful number because these are different units. These are servings. This is liters, so there are different units. So this isn't like a meaningful number, but um, I just wanted to show you the principle of how to use the axis of zero or one, okay? So uh, just to reinforce this, when you're moving along axis one, you're preserving all the rows, and there's 193 rows, which is why uh, that result has a shape of 193. Whereas when we did axis equals 0, we got a shape of 4 because it was collapsing all the columns down into one number. So again, I think of the axis for an op a mathematical operation as like the direction of the movement of the operation. Okay. All right. So as always, we're going to end with a bonus tip. And one, one thing I wanted to show you is that you can actually, there are actually aliases for the axis numbers. So if you find zero, you might find this more intuitive than axis zero and one. Um, so if you want to say axis zero, you can actually say axis equals index as a string. And you'll get the same thing as axis equals zero. Okay? Axis equals one which again would have given us 193 numbers this way, you can say axis equals columns. Okay, So you decide which is more intuitive, um, up to you. I tend to use 0 and 1, um, but index and columns is also valid in Pandas. All right. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, feel free to click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you have a pandas tip or a question, please let me know in the comment section below so that we can all help each other learn. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks again.